Howard, I'm the officer in charge of Firearms Branch. Thank you for all coming along this afternoon. Um, the reason that um, we wanted to call this press conference was because there's been a number of incidents involving um, gel blaster toys, and they are toys, they're not firearms under the Firearms Act. However, because of their appearance, they um, have caused us some concern and also um, concern to members of the public. What people need to understand, it's not illegal to own or possess a gel blaster. They, um, you can buy them in Adelaide or you can buy them online. But because people can mistake them for being a firearm, you may be committing offences um, if you take one out in public um, and use it um, in a threatening way. So. What also could occur is that if you were to be involved in an offence and you're in possession of a gel blaster because it's an imitation that looks like a firearm, you could be aggravating that offence, which would, means it would double the penalty. So if you assaulted someone um, without a gel blaster, the maximum penalty is two years. With a gel blaster, because it looks like an imitation firearm, it would be four years. And depending on the types of offences, depending on the uh, how the penalties are increased. So what we're asking is, because they are very popular, there's gel blaster skirmish groups and clubs around the place, that owners of gel blasters use common sense when they um, take them out in public. And really, I wouldn't recommend that they carry them around the streets. They can find their use to gel blaster skirmish clubs or in their own home um, so that they don't um, concern or cause any... Um, unwanted confrontation because if we, if the police get called in response to a job where a gel blaster is being used and we suspect it's a firearm, we'll be treating the person um, as being armed with a firearm until we can say or prove to the contrary. So are there any questions? Just describe the recent incident, Steve, or do you have a particular one that highlights what, what's going on? Uh, probably the one that was of most concern was on Facebook where the young man had the uh, a gel blaster um, in a selfie type photo and made uh, offensive comments. That caused quite some concern. Um, but there's been other jobs where we've had to attend where people have been um, in possession of a gel blaster and the, um, the tasking comes in as a person armed with a, with a firearm when in fact it's a toy. Well, not, no, not, um, not at present, but they are increasing, but they, they, um, they are categorised as a person being in possession of the, a toy, not a firearm. How much are these uh, gel blasters worth as well? Like, you were to buy one on the internet, are we talking a serious amount of money, or is this something, you know, a kid could afford saving up his pocket money? Um, I purchased that one for $240 in Adelaide, but they range in price. Could there be potentially um, fatal consequences if you are called out? It may end up in a death. There could be. There's um, if uh, a person's armed with a gel blaster, especially uh, if you look at that particular model, it looks like a um, an assault rifle, and we would be treating it accordingly. Now, um, but it also could cause a confrontation between people who aren't in the police. Um, so we just tell people to use common sense. It is a toy, but it could be mistaken for a firearm. Does this happen just in recent months or over the last year? What time period? Uh, probably it's come to the fore in recent months when they've become more popular and um, the skirmish groups have formed within Adelaide. Um, but if you do a search online, you'll see that you can there's a number of uh, retail outlets that sell gel blasters. Has there been any incidents overseas where something serious has happened? Not that I'm aware of, no. Apart yeah, from that um, Facebook incident, um, what about the other incidents? Has someone been charged or recorded for using it? No, 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 because it is a toy and they haven't used it to commit an, an offence, so it's not illegal to possess a, uh, a toy gun in South Australia. So No. Is it, is it illegal in, in other states? Yes, it is. 
So other states have appearance-based um, firearms legislation. So if something looks like a firearm, it's deemed to be a firearm. Where in South Australia, um, you've got to um, pass certain thresholds for a, um, to have a firearm. Or if it's a regulated imitation firearm, um, which is um, governed under the, the Firearms Act, it's either got to be readily modified to fire a projectile and also have the ability to fire a projectile, that's made of plastic. You, it doesn't meet those threshold tests, so it's not, not a firearm. Uh, we're not in the business of regulating toys, we're in the business of regulating firearms. So, you would, so would you argue that these things should be made illegal as they are and so? Would that make your job easier? Or? No. No. I would pref I'd prefer them to stay toys. Um, and our, our Firearms Act in South Australia is very robust for regulating the use and possession of firearms. You bring toys into it and it's, um, it's not appropriate. It's just Queensland and SA where they're legal, is that correct? Yes. You have got a red black or, um, or one of them sort of here. Are there any other, I guess, forms that might not look like this that are similar in that sort of um, realm of what you're dealing with or challenging? Uh, there's they. You name a, uh, there's a whole range of gel blasters from AK-47s to um, styres, which are the um, assault rifles that the Army use, to sniper rifles, to blasters that look very um, science fictionish, and if that's a word, but science, like science fiction. Um, and yeah, they've got a vast range of these toys. Uh, I'm not involved in that case, so I can't comment on it, I'm sorry.